Let me tell you something nobody else will. It's not about being good-looking, rich, or even smart. If you want any woman to fall for you, you have to master yourself first. And here's the truth most men are failing at this. Forget everything you've been told about dating. It's not about expensive gifts or looking like the guy in the magazine. What really pulls women in is your emotional strength, your ability to stay calm, centered, and unshakable. And believe me, if you don't get this right, no amount of pickup lines or confidence tips will help you. In fact, they'll probably hurt your chances. If you've ever felt ignored, rejected, or overlooked by women, it's because they see something you're missing. You don't control yourself, and that's why they're walking away. But here's the good news by mastering a few simple stoic principles. You'll make her want you without even trying. This isn't just another dating tip video. This is the secret strategy to unlock her heart. And it all starts with you, not her, not what she wants, but you, mastering your mind, your emotions, and how you show up in the world. Ready to finally win at this game? Let's dive in. Here's the reality most men have been lied to about what makes women attracted to them. Society tells you to chase women, shower them with gifts and compliments, or worse, act like someone you're not. Then you wonder why she's not interested, why she's ghosting you, or why things just don't work out. Let me be brutally honest, you're doing it all wrong. You've been told that dating is some sort of game where you need to win her attention. But here's the truth, the more you try to win her, the more you lose yourself, and she can feel it. Women can sense when you're putting on an act, and the more you try to impress her, the more she distances herself. It's time to stop chasing and start attracting. And the only way to truly attract her is by mastering yourself. Let me ask you something. When was the last time you felt completely in control of your emotions, your mind, your actions? If you're like most men, you're probably reacting to everything around you, her moods, her words, her tests. But what if I told you that mastering your inner world, becoming emotionally unshakable, is the secret to not just getting her attention but keeping it? This isn't a gimmick, it's a philosophy that's been around for thousands of years, Stoicism. Now, you might be wondering what an ancient philosophy has to do with dating, right? Everything. Stoicism isn't about suppressing your emotions or becoming a robot, it's about mastering your emotions. When you stop reacting to everything, when you can stay calm and centered no matter what's happening, that's when she starts noticing you not the guy who's flashy or always trying to make her laugh, but the man who's grounded, who knows who he is, and doesn't need her validation. Imagine walking into any situation, whether it's a first date or a serious relationship, with the kind of calm confidence that makes her feel safe. Picture this while other guys are nervously fumbling their words, trying to impress her with jokes or showing off. You're there, relaxed, not seeking her approval, but just being present. That's power. That's what makes you stand out in her mind. Here's a big truth that no one wants to talk about. Women don't want to be chased, they want to be drawn in. The moment you stop chasing her, stop trying to prove your worth, is the moment she starts to feel something different. She's intrigued, she's curious, and most importantly, she starts wanting you. Why? Because you're showing her what 99% of other men can't self-control. Stoicism is the secret weapon you never knew you needed. It's not about manipulation or tactics, it's about becoming the kind of man who naturally attracts not through what you say or do, but because of who you are. When you master this, everything changes. You'll stop overthinking your next move, stop trying to impress, and start being the man she chases. And guess what? It's not hard. Once you understand these stoic principles and how to apply them to your life, not only will your dating life change, but everything else will too relationships, career, your entire way of seeing the world, it all gets better. So if you're ready to learn how to become the kind of man who commands attention without ever needing to ask for it, let's get started. Now that you understand the power of stoicism, let's talk about one of the most misunderstood aspects of attraction words. Most guys think they need to come up with clever lines or witty comebacks to get a woman's attention, but I'm telling you right now that's dead wrong. It's not about being clever or funny. It's about saying the right things at the right time in a way that connects on a deeper level. Let me break it down for you. Women hear compliments all the time you're beautiful or you're so hot these things don't even register for her anymore because she's heard them a million times. She's immune to it. But you know what she rarely hears? Real compliments compliments about who she is, not just how she looks. 
Step 1. Start using her name in conversation. This might sound simple, but trust me, it's one of the most powerful things you can do. When you say her name during a conversation, it triggers something deep in her mind. It makes her feel recognized, unique, and important. But don't overdo it. You don't want to throw her name into every sentence that feels forced. Use it strategically. Drop it in at key moments, like when you're giving her a genuine compliment. It will make her feel like she's the only person in the room. Step 2. Compliment her in ways that no one else does. Most guys will focus on physical appearance because it's easy. But if you want to stand out, compliment her mind, her intelligence, her character. If she tells you a story about something she's passionate about, don't just nod and smile show her that you're really listening. Say something like, I love how passionate you are about this. It's rare to meet someone who thinks so deeply about things. This kind of compliment isn't just flattering, it makes her feel truly seen. And that's what she's looking for. Here's the thing women want to feel special not in a shallow, superficial way. They want to know that you see them for who they are, beyond the surface. Most guys fail at this. They're too busy trying to impress with jokes or show off with stories about themselves. But you, you're different. You're showing her that you see her in a way that others don't. Step 3. Practice gratitude. This is something that gets overlooked but is incredibly powerful. Women notice when you appreciate the small things they do. If she does something thoughtful for you, don't just brush it off, acknowledge it. A simple thank you can go a long way, but don't just say it, mean it. When you express genuine gratitude, it makes her feel valued. In a world where most guys take her for granted, that's a game changer. Now, let me address something most guys do stop over apologizing. I see this mistake all the time. Guys are constantly apologizing for things they didn't even do wrong, just to avoid conflict or keep the peace. Let me tell you something apologizing too much makes you look weak. Women respect men who own their actions, who stand by what they say. So apologize when it's necessary, but don't apologize for being who you are. Your actions matter even more than your words. You can say all the right things, but if your actions don't match up, it's game over. That's where stoicism comes in. Stoic philosophy teaches that your actions should be deliberate, grounded, and rooted in calm inner confidence. Let me show you how this works in the real world. Action 1. Master your body language. This might sound basic, but it's where most guys go wrong. Your body is constantly sending signals, whether you realize it or not. When you're fidgeting, shifting your weight, or avoiding eye contact, you're telling her that you're nervous, unsure of yourself. And if you're not confident in yourself, why should she be? Ready to become the man she's chasing? You've got this. Now go make it happen. 